hello friends today in today's video i will uh, cover how we can do roughing work in master cam 2018 <coughs> uh, for that i have one igs file uh, so i will import that igs file in master cam and explain how we can do roughing program in master cam so all of first i will open IGS file all of us uh, we have to make new file open So this is in IGS file so select all files from here then you can see IGS file just double click this is asking that uh, you because this cavity is made in metric so this is asking if you want to keep the units in metric or uh, inches so I will go with uh, metric units so just I will click this is converting and here it is inches and now it is uh, changed to metric so just rotate okay so all of first uh, you can see jet direction is downwards so I need to make jet direction upward for that I need to rotate the job and jet axis jet zero also required because master cam coordinate system is about to upside so all of first I will rotate and make the coordinate suitable for that we need to go transform rotate select the window indication oh. for that uh, I have to rotate in the front view so you need to make the C plane change from top to front just click rotate select window end session from here you have to make it move and from here you have to put 180 degree enter ok now we have to make a wireframe boundary box so just go to the wireframe make the boundary box select all the entities intersection and this will make a boundary box um, make it absolute and click face center point also that is ok just click ok click ok now the job maximum high point is away from the master cam so this point must lie with master cam coordinate system this will be our machine origin also during the job setup uh, we have to make this point as a machine offset value so for making this just go to the transform move to origin just click that point it will move just go to the home ok just save one time after that we have to make milling operation so for that we have to go on the machine click on the mill click on the default ok so this tool this will appear now open this file tool path setting stock setup we have to do here so just click on the stock setup and you there is the option 
you can just select all surfaces or solid all entities so just i am going to select all surfaces so this is the value just i will keep 5 mm approximately so the 105 i will make with this is 155 i will make this is 38 so i will make 40 mm just click ok so this is the stop during the machine roughing you will see the stop ok now we will start for the roughing program for before going to the roughing uh, I will like I would like to face this top surface so for this we have to get facing operation in this this is the face operation just click on the face operation you have to now select the chain before making any program just ensure that your D clone plane must be top and C plane also must be top now we can start with the face just click on the face select the chain just click ok here he is asking tool type so just click on the tool select from the library just filter and just select face mill just click ok so face mill you have uh, 72, 63, 99 so you can select uh, based on your availability so here I am going to select 50 mm face mill and just clicking ok now the holder holder is ok no problem you can change the holder from here like that that is ok no problem just after the holder <coughs> go to the cut parameters for the cut parameters you can choose zigzag in the zigzag it will move like that i will go with the zigzag this is ok no problem start to leave on floor make it zero we have not to leave any stop on the surface so here our thing is ok just take the cut because we have not any uh, stuck on top so no need to take the cut only one face is required that linking parameter clear distance this is my standard practice to keep it 30 retractor is 3 mm fit plan one is mmm retractor i make up foot top of stack 0 depth is 0 no issue that is ok that is also ok we must ensure all the things should be top because i have changed the c plane top line all the thing here if you want to change just click here you can see top front back it it must be from uh, top for the vertical milling machine coolant you want to off on it is ok no problem after that just click ok you can see path is generated <coughs> uh, after that I will go to make uh, this uh, roughing program so for that we can go from here so this is the pocket surface of pocket 
just click on that select the surfaces all the surfaces just select all the surfaces just make in selection so here is asking driving surfaces 120 mm ok check surfaces I have not mentioned any check surfaces in this I will let you know later what is the check surfaces this is the boundary he is asking in which boundary you want to run the program so I need to run the program between this box so I am selecting this boundary just click ok and here is the entry point you can select tool entry point if you want otherwise it will calculate automatically because for that just I am clicking here just make it ok so now this window will appear in this window um, we have to select the tool first so select library tool filter just select in the middle ok just click ok so I will go I would like to use 12 mm in mid flat tool for this operation you can select as per your requirement so here you can select the feed rate I will make 100,000 mm feed rate spindle RPM you can mention I am going with 2500 this is just click feed per tooth it is automatic calculated plunge rate you can make it 100 mm because retracted is ok so in this case all the things is okay now surface parameter as per my understand uh, standard practice I will keep 30 mm here 3 mm here 1 mm here I will make it absolute now this is okay this is okay all the thing is okay and now roughing parameter you can change the tolerance just I point just I will make 5 micron tolerance because it is roughing is so you can put more no problem even you can put 0 0.05 0. it will make processing fast ok just click ok make it conventional here from here you can select cut that you make just make it in absolute program will start from zero detect flex you can mention just make it yes so here detect flat means where we will and the flat area will be there in the model it will detect automatically so also you can select that from here and uh, analyze dynamic this is the minimum depth so this is you can see 18.998 so you can put it 18.9 or 19 so just click escape to get the value so here you can put minus 19 mm click ok this is the maximum step down means depth up cut you can put it point at 5 mm gap setting here percentage I will keep 110 optimizing cut order is on just click ok just I will keep it ok pocket parameter you can select 
any way how you want to run the program like this like this like this so here I will keep like chick check and uh, this is okay this is okay roughing angles here is okay passes one is okay spacing one is still pass okay no problem just click ok so this program is generated so this is the roughing program how we can generate in the master cam 2018 so just select all the program hide all the tool paths just save the file now we can see or we can verify the program for that just click both tool of cut you can verify the program from machine and verify So this is the window will appear for the verifying. So first we have selected facing operation. So from here you can choose the quality and from here you can control the program speed. So I will make less and play. So this is the first so coming on geo. This is the second cut. this time making it fast and meanwhile you can see from here tool tick position from here xyz coordinate is uh, showing feed rate is 1000 mm g1 and g1 g2 g3 where it is our car linear the spindle speed is uh, coolant is off so just make it fast So this is the program of the roughing because the cutter diameter is too much so it don't go inside the ribs. So this is uh, how we can make roughing program in Mastercam. In the next tutorial I will let you know how we can make finished program in Mastercam. So if you like my video please subscribe my channel and like the video. Thanks. Bye bye.